Welcome or welcome back to my channel. What's the difference between two-dimensional shapes and three-dimensional shapes? Actually, there's a big difference, especially when it comes to calculating geometry. These things you need to know. Let's get into it right now. Two-dimensional shapes versus three-dimensional shapes. Let's talk about them geometrically. Okay, so let's talk about the circle, two-dimensional shape. So 2D shapes, obviously, they, they have the horizontal axis, vertical axis. Obviously, they're flat figures, right? They have only length and width and they do not have any thickness or height as opposed to the 3D shape, 2D circle, once it's three dimensional, it's called a sphere. And the geometry in a sphere or the properties of the sphere means that it has one curved surface. There are no edges, there are no vertices. This is a semicircle. So a semicircle, obviously two dimensional is flat. It has no thickness, it has no height. Um, three dimensionally, as you can see here, once it's three dimensional, it's actually called a hemisphere. It has one face and it has one curved surface that you can see over the top here. Two dimensional, we have triangles obviously this is my isosceles triangle this is an equilateral triangle um, i'll probably do a video later on with um, different types of triangles there's actually more than these two here and so this uh, is a pyramid a square based pyramid and this has five faces it has eight edges and five vertices all right so here we have the good old square and when it's actually three-dimensional, it is called a cube. And what's the properties of a cube? So it has six faces, it has 12 edges, and eight vertices. To a rectangle. So here, three-dimensional, it's called a cuboid or a rectangular prism. And what are the properties of that? So this has six faces, it has 12 edges, and it has eight vertices. With triangles, we also have what is called a triangle, obviously in 2D, and then in three-dimensional, it's called a triangular prism. And what are the properties of that? So it has five faces, nine edges, and six vertices triangular prism. Ah, the cone. Look at that. So the cone, what are the properties of that? So it has one face, which is the flat surface underneath, and then it has one curved surface all around. A cylinder. Cylinder has two faces, and then one curved surface, which serves as the body all around the middle. Here we have a hexagon. Its 3D version is called the hexagonal prism. And the properties of a hexagonal prism, it has eight faces, 18 edges, and 12 vertices. Did you know that in geometry, this shape is called a torus? Yep, the donut. Like, comment, and subscribe with that notification bell so you know every time I upload, which is every Wednesday and I will see you next time in another math video. Thank you for watching. Class dismissed.